So of course I'm like practically done, but I thought I would just share my daughter's school project and what we've done just in case if you guys are doing a project. So my daughter is in third grade and we had to do a science fair project. We picked something relatively easy and something that we really enjoy, popcorn. We decided to do a project on how many different brands of popcorn can you pop and how many leftover kernels will each brand have. So I got this big poster board at Target. I bought this background with the black and the gold at Dollar Tree. I bought these on sale at Walmart. Very easy and simple. And then I made those big giant popcorns. And I will actually, if you guys want, I can show you how. It's very simple. All you need is cardstock. So this is just an idea if you guys need to do a project and you guys need um, a little bit of inspiration. This is really fun. I've also seen people draw red lines um, on theirs, but I figured with the big popcorn and everything and time, I just didn't have enough time. Okay guys, bear with me with the angle. I don't have my um, thingy. So this is like the best angle I can get to show you guys how I do this without holding my phone. So I'm going to do a four, like I guess angled popcorn. Um, so it's really easy to be honest. So you just kind of like do different type humps like that, I would say. And then just draw lines like that to give it texture. You can do something like that, like that, you see? And then, let me find my lid. So I have my piece of popcorn. Um, I'm going to use these scissors since I can't find mine. And I just cut around it like this. I'm not cutting the line, so that way it still kind of has like that comic look effect but you still see the yellow. This was probably really bad. That was probably really bad and I'm really sorry that that wasn't like um, the best demonstration, but you kind of get the gist. So this is the final result and we added a hypothesis materials procedure question with the independent variable and the controlled variable our data. You can also do a graph or a chart. We just chose to keep it very simple. We cut out the little logos and then we um, did the kernels. So that way it kind of gave like a more visual effect versus chart. Charts get boring. Then we also have our title. How many pops will it take? Our conclusion and then what we would do different next time. So this is it. So I know I look a hot mess and the lighting isn't the best, but I just wanted to upload this just because when I got all of this, we really didn't have much directions for parents and students were a little bit confused and lost as at least I was and my daughter. So I wanted to upload this so that way you guys could get an idea of what everything needs to be done and stuff like that. And if you're a parent and you have a question, just comment down below and I'd be glad to help you. Um, this is definitely an awesome idea. It's very easy, fun, family friendly. You know, you guys all get to eat the popcorn and stuff. So um, I definitely liked the idea of this project. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.